This is a continuation of part two, and we're looking at religion, uh, religions of the world, cults, uh, the idea of infiltration, and apostasy. And we're going to see this apostasy, meaning turning away from uh, true religion into uh, what uh, the Bible calls spiritual fornication and harlotry, spiritual harlotry, uh, intermingling with other faiths. Here we have, start with this chart here. This is a key chart to understanding the roots of all of this. Coming all the way from Babylon, after the flood, ancient mystery religions. And you see now moving into Kabbalism. Kabbalism moving into Gnosticism. Kabbalism is Jewish Kabbalism, uh, and uh, the Jews got that from Babylon in their captivity, coming into Christian Gnosticism. So Gnosticism uh, corrupted Christianity, true Christianity, and you see this in the Catholic Church and through the, onto the Knights Templars. Now you see uh, Knights Templars moving into Rosicrucianism. Um, you saw the Jesuits were involved in Templar stuff and Rosicrucian uh, stuff, and then you have uh, Freemasonry and the Illuminati, and the all of these offshoots, and you can see Babylon, pantheism, witchcraft and sorcery, uh, Hinduism and Buddhism. Uh, these are, uh, I, from my perspective in the Bible, uh, religions of fallen angels uh, and deity worship that way. You can see Freemasonry and Marxism, uh, political societies, European uh, secret societies, American secret societies, international banking elite, World Council of Churches, now ecumenical movement, Theosophical Society and the New Age movement. You saw that with Freemasonry and many cults of the 1800s, and we're going to see those next after this plate, but moving into new spiritual technology. Uh, Self-hypnosis, oh, this is all New Age movement, but it in fact is Old Age uh, uh, practice. This is from a book, uh, actually from a movie uh, by uh, Paul Flynn called The Power Behind the New World Order. I really recommend this, uh, but these are screenshots from that. Loses Trust is run through the International Board of Trustees, John D. Rockefeller. All of these names involved here, you can pause this video to understand that these are all together. Education in the New Age, this is what they educate you with, uh, relativism. Uh, there is no truth. Your truth uh, can be different from somebody else's truth. Um, and this non-absolution uh, of truth. Humanity has been brought in consciousness increasingly nearer to the spiritual centers of love and life and has been uh, stimulated to make spiritual progress to awaken to the light within, to unfold the Christ consciousness and to find the path of light which leads to divinity. So this is the externalization of the hierarchy. You understand that in now Oprah Winfrey doing this type of new age and being involved with this. Goodwill is love in action. So yes, it's all goodwill. Let me read these three. The new world order must meet the immediate need and not be an attempt to satisfy some distant idealistic vision. The new world order must be appropriate to the world which has passed through a destructive crisis and to a humanity which is badly shattered by the experience, meaning order out of chaos. They're going to create a war and we're going to scream for peace and security and a, a newfound world. The new world order must lay the foundation for a future world order, which will be possible only after a time of recovery, of reconstruction and rebuilding, externalization of the hierarchy. Discipleship in the new age. It is a religion that will be the new age. Understand that the new earth and oprah winfrey she is the spokesperson uh for the new age now uh, she endorsed this book secret uh which is all about positive communication yes uh all of that uh positive thinking think it and it will be done eckhart tolle she promotes hugely and you can see by this pose that the new age is in fact the old age there is the old age stance and that old age stance is Kundalini, Hinduism, Buddhism. You don't find this in Christianity at all. The Tree of Knowledge and the Serpent. You can see now this Kundalini. Seven chakras going on here. So you can attain enlightenment on your own. Look at this Hindu practice here. And the serpents here going on there. I believe looks like an eye up there. But anyway, look, it just happens to be uh, 33 vertebrate and moving 
up this chain of 33 uh, degrees, even in Hinduism having that. So this serpent must go from the bosom to the head, and that's how they like things to happen. And so now you can see here, here's the diamond shape. Uh, early in that first part, you saw the diamond uh, uh, brand being done, and this is enlightenment as well as the elite. And this double-headed phoenix or eagle, and the eye in Freemasonry, 33 degrees there. Here's that chakra coming on, and the opening of the spiritual third eye. All of this symbolism here. And we see here the same pose, and look here. Tarot cards being used in conjunction with this um, uh, old world pose. Chakras here, the yin and yang symbol, as above, so below, this hexagram triangle. Again, the same image, the serpent intertwining and opening up the spiritual third eye. They believe that they can attain enlightenment on their own this way. You can see that intertwining serpent. Here's the Ouroboros and that those chakras. Here is that caduceus uh, being used now in mythology. Uh, and I am telling you this strange stuff having correlations to between the double helix and DNA. And you can see this Time Magazine uh, here with DNA structure, uh, even in this Time Magazine structure with DNA being intertwining serpent. They know what they're doing. They know what they're saying. Uh, they want you to change your DNA. They even have triple helix DNA coming out, uh, transhumanism, uh, and this whole effort to adorn man. The fundamental thing about Christianity is that God is the sacrifice. We worship God. They don't want anything to have uh, uh, to do with God. They believe man will enlighten himself. Now, uh, look at this um, uh, Eckhart Tolle. He's friends with the Dalai Lama. They will bring this world into a brand new religion, and that religion will be the pure doctrine, uh, Luciferian doctrine under Satan and the falling, fallen angels. Look at the Dalai Lama, now uh, very good friends with uh, John Paul, and they were such good friends that they're even uh, 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 immortalized here in wax, at a wax museum. Ecumenical Buddhism, uh, Buddhism, uh, uh, the ecumenical movement in Buddhism, bringing everybody together. They can say Orthodox Christians too. So Christians now intermingling with all religions. And so you see the flow chart of rivers flowing into one world religion. The head of that one world religion is uh, Rome. Uh, church unity in the papal office. They want to bring all religions back to Rome. United religions here. You can see all religions uh, represented. This is an interesting one because you have all religions with now uh, these bloodlines, uh, family crests. Uh, I took this image in Heathrow. The first par parliament of world religions was held in Chicago in 1893. Now look at what Rome is doing. Here is the Fellowship of Faiths. All of these religions wanting to come together. United Nations is heavily involved with that as well. Now you move into the Catholic Church leading this ecumenical inter interfaith movement. Look at all the religions being uh, represented. Here they are again. Look at that ominous image. Here is man and woman. And look at the astrological signs around. Angels looking on. Ecumene, World Council of Churches. Proposed religious mer mergers. Uh, this is not that one, but this is another image. So just to sell it, tell you that somebody sees that this is happening. Look at this as key evangelicals and Catholics together, Catholics and Muslim. They're doing this through Fatima and Mary uh, as well. We'll see that a little bit later. Finally, uh, Hindus, Buddhists, and the New Age uh, coming on through. This is happening right now. Atheism crossing over into finally the final doctrine of Luciferianism. Here's Billy Graham, the Protestant Pope and the Catholic Pope together. Um, all of that we'll see uh, what Billy Graham's ministry was about. Uh, one world again. Moving on. 
these are modern tracing boards in Freemasonry of the first three degrees and you can see the tracing boards with all that occult symbology and here all religions now intermingling with each other look at within the lodge itself look at they're doing the Pledge of Allegiance and look at Bible the Holy Quran and the Buddhist Bible all on the same plate this is called spiritual har harlotry the you can read Revelation 17 about the uh, the harlot and uh, we believe that the harlot church here um, we can see it obviously is Rome and so uh, look at Michael Jackson's um, uh, large uh, display many people watch this this was uh, after his death together as one and so look at the world leaders look at the religions here look at these guys uh, promoting all of this understanding all of that they are part of it yeah sounds very noble uh, but Jesus said again he's exclusive to himself understand the fundamental difference they are against Jesus even in the writings they, they indoctrinate you to that and so here is um, uh, Madonna and this is huge coexist and uh, getting everybody together and in this world of peace and the new world order